This week is Women in Construction Week, a chance for the industry to celebrate women in that field. Jonathan Fong shows us how two students are helping build a new home and build the future. Everything from drilling to cutting. Here, I got this side. These kids are getting hands-on. 15 students from the three Davenport High Schools are part of this year's home building program. I feel like yesterday it was just the cement being poured for the foundation. It's really crazy to see how much work it's really put into building a house from ground up. The schools work with local home building and realty groups to teach students like Isabel Valerio. And then we break on 48. And Alexis Rodriguez by building a brand new home, which should be all done sometime this spring. My dad's a superintendent for Hy-Vee Construction, so, and he travels. Kinda just watched him as I grew up doing it and it just kinda seemed fun to me. My dad does something like that, but um, I just thought it was interesting. It's better than doing other things that other people do, I feel like, so. Now, despite Isabel and Alexis being the only two women out of the 15 students in this year's class, that still puts them above the industry average. As according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor, on average, only one in 10 construction workers are women. I don't feel out of place at all here. It's kind of open arms. It's a really good learning experience for the kids about sticking through, you know, and getting to the end of projects. Their teacher, Andrew Varner, couldn't be more proud. In our program, the girls don't do any less than the men do here. 14 and 3 fourths. These two are pulling their weight in our class. These two ladies putting in the hard work and determination now to start building their future. Not very many people do it, so it's really interesting, and I think that more people should. In Davenport, Jonathan Fong, WQAD News 8. And both students say the program is helping determine their plans after graduating this spring. Alexis is narrowing down a focus for trade school, and Isabel plans on studying construction management at Kirkwood Community College in Cedar Rapids. By the way, the home they are building will be up for sale when it's done.